Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Randy with Eagles Wings Fellowship, wishing you a great day. Today, I'd like to get right into the Word, and we're going to be speaking out of Proverbs chapter 8, beginning in verse 1. I have several verses I'd like to read, so please follow along, and I am reading out of the Holman Christian Study Bible. And it reads this way, Doesn't wisdom call out? Doesn't understanding make her voice heard? At the heights overlooking the road, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates at the entry to the city, at the main entrance, she cries out, People, I call out to you. My cry is to mankind. Learn to be shrewd or wise. You who are inexperienced, develop common sense. You who are foolish. And I'll stop reading there. You see what Solomon is saying there? Of all things, and he says it in the book of Proverbs, in all of your getting, get wisdom and get knowledge. Don't be a fool. You see, I'm not going to go into it right now, but there are five different definitions to the word fool in the Old Testament in Hebrew. Some of them are pretty bad, and some of them are just being silly. Which one are you? Are you the awful fool who turns their back on God and denies his existence in complete and utter positivity that we all happened by happenstance or are you silly in your actions your activities are you getting drunk are you getting loaded are you getting high are you doing all manner of things are you committing sexual sins are you transmitting diseases wow pastor you're being really graphic today well that's why wisdom is crying out, quit being stupid. This is my word. Quit being stupid and wise up. I am everywhere crying out to you, get wise. You need to be wise in all of your doings and all of your dealings. If not, you're either, number one, going to be doing stupid things, or two, you're going to be taken advantage of. Either way, you're going to be at the bottom of the heap. You're not going to be as smart as you thought. You're not going to be as wise as you thought in your financial dealings, if we want to use that as an example. You're not going to be all that and think you're going to come out rich and successful because you don't have enough common sense to perform the way you should, to think, to analyze, to really sit down and look at what's before you to make sure that you're not being taken advantage of. The devil will make sure confusion comes across your path and muddles and muddies your thinking so common sense doesn't have a chance to enter in and the wisdom that accompanies common sense. He'll take advantage of you and make you look like a fool in front of everyone. If that's what you want, continue the path you're walking in. That's your choice. If you don't want to be that way, commit your life to Christ. Study His Word. Learn how not to be a fool and how to become wise and you do that by having a relationship with him and how does that begin for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe on him would not perish but have everlasting life because he did not send his son Jesus into the world to condemn it but through him this world would have the chance to be saved. 
make your choice, but make a wise choice because your eternal destiny hinges on your choice. Are you going to make a wise choice today or are you going to blow off my invitation to eternity and say, ah, oh, that pastor doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just a blowhard. And what if you get hit by a bus and you go into eternity and you stand at heaven's gates and you hear, get away from me. I never knew you. And you've just put yourself in hell. Once again, your choice. God didn't put you in hell. You put yourself there. God doesn't put anyone in hell. They put themselves there by not accepting the beautiful, most wonderful offer in eternity. Living and following Jesus. My time is over. This needs to come to an end. Remember, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing to our EWF broadcast channel on YouTube. And have a great day. Have a wonderful day. Make a wise choice. And live for Jesus because he loves you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.